Welcome back to the Southern Scene on WSAV. It's time now for our legal scene. You know, the United States Department of Transportation reports that more than 500,000 trucking accidents occur in the U.S. each year. And of the fatal truck accidents, one out of eight is caused by a semi-truck. Georgia has an extensive network of highways that provide corridors for the trucking industry, as you know. And as a result, well, we all know tractor-trailer accidents are quite frequent. Approximately 5,000 accidents occur in Georgia each year, with about 1,200 of those being fatal accidents. So who is liable when this happens? And now Mark Tate joins us on the legal scene. I How do. are you, Mark? It's, I'm well. How are I'm you? I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm doing fine. So let's talk about okay. tractor-trailer liability. I mean, what's the deal? I mean, you know how the roads are these days. I mean, you can't be on the interstate interstate driving without coming across some horrible accident. You know, that's interesting, Natalie, because the thing is, is that uh, people generally think that tractor trailer crashes is just a big car crash. All right, that's it. But it's not. The, the dynamics and physics of tractor trailer crashes and their interaction with vehicles is far different from just two regular, you know, cars of ordinary passenger vehicle weight. And first of all, the person driving a tractor trailer rig is a commercial driver and they've had training to drive those trucks. And they have a whole set of federal regulations that they have to comply with. A truck driver uh, is a professional and they're held to professional standards. And so when they fall below those standards, the companies that they work for, uh, if they keep them out on the road, can have problems beyond the type of problem that, you know, if I give a Tate Law Group uh, courier a Tate Law Group car to go deliver something and they have a crash. Are there new laws in place now? I mean, dri drivers, truck drivers specifically, can't yeah. drive, you know, s but so many hours, right. that kind of thing. Well, what we learned is, is uh, watching these cr t truck crashes, uh, we learned that, and we should have known it because we knew it with airline pilots, but fatigue uh, sets in. And when you are tired, you make poor decisions and you have worse judgment and you have slower reaction time. And so in an effort to try to reduce the number of crashes, reduce the number of fatal crashes, uh, truckers now have to get more rest than they did. Well, let me ask you this. What if you are traveling on the interstate and you come up and there's just this huge pileup and you end up being part of it, but it was caused by a tractor trailer, but yeah. you didn't get directly hit by, by the, the tractor trailer. I mean, can you s yeah. still hold somebody well, accountable for? Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's kind of like a, a, an old law school question, you know, who can you trace back the cause to? Uh, Georgia is a state in which you can hold uh, even a remote causative factor accountable. So if a tractor trailer truck uh, causes a dangerous condition on the roadway and you exercising all proper care that's required still make a mistake and you know have a crash, then yeah, you know, you can hold them accountable. Now, after this happens, isn't it um, normal that the insurance adjusters on the trucking side they go in, they do the investigations, and, yeah. and many times ask you to uh, try to get the people to settle really quickly? And they should do. you? No, absolutely not. And in fact, I'm going to tell you, there's a, a, a disturbing thing: is they have a rapid response team, and they try to get. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why. Because reconstruction of these crashes is critical. And the trucking companies and their insurance companies and even a local law firm, the biggest local law firm, uh, advertise that they will respond instantly and they want you to call them first. And the reason that is, is because in Georgia we have a thing called the Special Collision Reconstruction Team. It's a very uh, elite group of highly trained, very smart Georgia State Troopers who get out with special equipment and survey the scene and document and reconstruct what happened. We know that if we get there and can talk to those officers early, you can begin to shape opinions and thoughts and data that they input early. And if you get in early and you shape the input of the data, you can shape the outcome. And so you can fix it so a trucking company and its insurance company get out of liability by shifting opinions and thoughts and the data and the things that troopers look at. So no, it's really dangerous to settle early because we've got to have a chance to get in there for you and find out what the truth is about what happened. So what is Tate Law Group going to do? Oh Well, we're going to get your case. Uh, if you call us the day after the crash, we're going to have our reconstructionists and experts out there looking at the case 
trying to figure out what happened. We're going to be contacting the people that we know uh, that can get in touch with and speak to the skirt officers uh, who can tell us what happened. We're going to find out what happened as quick as we can. And, you know, if it's your fault and we can't do anything with you, we'll tell you that and you can move on to one of the other people uh, who may be able to do something with it. But if we think we can win your case, we're not going to mess around and try to settle it. Uh, the, the rule here is that, look, as long as you don't have a lawsuit filed, you're playing on their field. You're playing on the insurance company field. They make up the rules and they'll change the rules to make you lose. But as soon as I file your lawsuit, you're playing on our rules. You're playing on our turf and it's our game. And so if you're playing in our arena, you have a better chance of winning. We can force them to turn over the driver's logs and we can get these things and win your case. Well, it makes sense to me. Thanks Good. so much, Mark. For Thank you. Us. If you'd like more information on Mark Tate and Tate Law Group, all you have to do is go to the website you see right on your screen. You can also send us a message if you'd like a legal question answered. Just find us on Facebook, The Southern Scene, or you can always go to our website, WSAV.com. We'll make sure we get all your legal questions answered for you.